I'm at Rough Cuts and I'm with Alfie and Lauren and Elizabeth and we have this really cute dog, Lauren. Um, he's doing so well. Alfie is doing great, looks so cute. But sometimes dogs get a little nervous when they come in for a groom. What can we do about that? We do. We have a lot of things that um, help us um, from different tools and different things that we do. One of the things that we use for dogs that um, are older or don't have the ability to um, stand up for extended period of time. Sometimes some dogs can only stand up for a few minutes. And it's called the belly band. It is a padded uh, soft band that hooks up behind the, um, on, on the belly. Okay. Behind. All right. Oh, there we go. And helps give them some stabilization. Yes. So they don't fall over. And we have dogs Perfect. that just use it so they don't tip over. And then we have dogs that will actually just like kind of sit there and swing back and forth in it. Uh-huh. He's doing so good, he just let you put that right on him. Oh yeah, yes, Alfie's a very, very good boy. Um, we also do what's called a split appointment and we have two different types of that. We will start the groom and do like the bath and blow dry them and then put them in the cage and give them a break and let them relax. We'll groom another dog and then take them back out and groom, uh, continue to groom them after they've had their break. But we also do where we wash and dry them one day, and then the next day we bring them back in to do their haircut for the dogs that are older, have anxiety, seizures, um, sometimes with injuries, like when they blow out their knee or their hip, um, then we can give them the longer breaks and help them adjust with it. It's probably good because not all dogs do this well during a groom, so it's probably good to break it up so it's not all at once this trauma maybe that they're not used to. Right. We do that with puppies too. Like their first puppy intro groom is just a bath, brush out, we'll trim up the long hair on their feet and in their sanitary area so they don't get stinky or dirty. And then we slowly work them into doing more and more um, of body work and trimming so it's not scary or traumatizing to them because we do things to them that their owners don't do. Yeah, they're not used to, so yeah. yeah. So you can help out the senior dog, the ones with ailments, um, the ones that are anxious, mm -hmm. but also you guys have some exciting news here as it pertains to your location at Rough Cuts. You guys are opening soon for... Yes, yes. We, we are reopening our lobby on July 1st with all of the new mandates and everything that have come out. It's just time for us to do that. We will still offer going out to your car, especially if you have different um, health issues or other things, we will still go out to your car if you want us to. But um, we're going to have one family at a time in here so that there's not people in close quarters. And then we're also doing, um, like for nail trims, like we're still doing, we're going to ask that you drop your dog off inside and then go wait outside in case there's somebody else that needs to come in and check out so he's not, they're not waiting on you. And how do people navigate that? Do they call? How do they get an appointment to make sure that there is one family at a time? Um, just pay attention outside. Um, just come on in um, after July 1st. Come on in and um, we will get you um, in and out as fast as possible. And then just uh, pay attention and, and wait. We'll have signs up. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Lauren Wood, thank you so much for your time. And Alfie did so great. Elizabeth with the grooming. Thank you guys for your time today. Thank you. Thank you. And stick around, there's more of Studio 10 after the break.